Inside, I think we're up to the fourth sif, fourth peric. <coughs> we'll just recap on the inyanim uh, and the seder of the maimer. Of course, this is based on Tafrish Peites, where the Fidik Rebbe is talking about the seder of the chasna, the seder of the hamshocha, the chodeid likuschala. In other words, the nakuda of the Fidik Rebbe is to explain the two halves of the the, the posset that we say Friday night, the Chodel is actually a half a posset and half a Maimon Azal. The Chodel Likras Kalo is one part, and Pnei Shavos Nekablo is the same thing. So why is it repeating itself? Is says the Fidik Rebbe, this is two types of Hashbo. The Chodel Likras Kalo is the Hashbo Chitzoni, and Pnei Shavos Nekablo is the Hashbo Pnimis. That's the Nekuda of the Maimon. Why would you need the Hashbo Chitzoni? Why should we make an issue of the Hashbo Chitzoni? Before the Hashbo Pnimis, is on that goes away the whole Mammy to explain that this is one case where you have to have a Hagdama of Makif of Chitzenis de Kashbo, but Makif de Kashbo before you get to the Hashbo Pnimis. Why is that? Because we're talking here about a Mashpir and a Makabu. Mashpir and Makabu doesn't just mean one's giving, one's taking. A Mashpir and Makabu means the Mashpir is Shleba Erech higher to the Makabu, and the Makabu is not able to receive from the Mashpir unless. The Makabal has some type of kiruv beforehand from the Mashriya in order to be able to receive. Like, for example, that the, mash- the first Mashri brings is like from the Rav and the Talmud in the, in the Gemara, like Rava or Rabba, that before they started saying the, 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 the Shir, whatever it was, the Schmeitzer, so he would say a Milzah de Bedichasa, and then everybody would be in a good mood, and then they would start teaching. Why do you have to say Milzah de Bedichasa? That was a Hachana in order to be able to receive. In other words, beforehand they were too, they felt too small, too distant, they wouldn't be able to receive anything. Through the, through the joke that he said in the beginning, they felt psiches uh, halev, psiches hamayach, and as the Fidika was mailech over there barichas, about what this means of a is, and that made a certain kiruv, and then afterwards they could go, he could teach them. Why? Because since this Talmud is shleib he needs a kiruv to become a proper Talmud, to become taka keli, and now it can be much to him, the Ashbal Pinis. That's one Moshal. The other Moshal is much more simple, Gashmi Sticker Moshal, from the Magid. That the Moshal is that the, they were talking about a small child that is uh, very small, and the father is a tall man, and he wants to play with his son face to face, so he picks him up. So he lowers his hands, picks him up, and then he's face to face with him. So the picking up of the hand is gone, it's just, just a, a way to be Makar of the child to his, to his level. Once he's been Makarabim, then he has the Shashuim Ponim El Ponim. So that's the Ashbar Chitain, is to be before the Ashbar Pnimis. And the same thing in Aveda. The Aveda in the Fidika of Maimah is referring to the Aveda of Yav Krishm Shalamito, the Einaidim de Ispalo Lamitech Kevid Rosh before the Avening. That's a Kir of Kloli. And then afterwards you have the Davening itself, with the, which is a Kir of Pnimi, a Skashris with the Abish there, Boif and Pnimi. This is the Boif and Kloli of the Fidika of Maimah. The Rebbe is Moisif that the, the Fidik Rebbe's, the, the, the hidden theme in the Fidik Rebbe's mind is not just to tell us the Seder of the Aveda, the Seder of the Hashbo, it's the first Nida Makif, then Primi, but the fact that the Makif comes first is because there's a Maile in the Makif which isn't in the Primi. The, re, the fact that the Makif can affect that initial connection between the Mashvi and Makabu means that there's something special in the Makif. And I spoke last time that you can see that the whole Hassan of Emerson is all Makif from beginning to end. Starts off with the Kabbalist Panim. Uh, starts off with the Kabbalist Panim, which is Makif, which it says over here. Then there's the um, the Chup itself is Makif, the Bedekanish is Makif, the Chup is Makif, the going round is Makif, the ring is round, and now many should be totally round. And uh, and so uh, that's the main thing. And the dancing is in circles, open clearly. And um, and then there's uh, and only the only thing that you can be counted as primi would be the Yichud room. That's the only part of the, the, of the chasna. Actually, there is one other thing that says in Vulkan Chasna and Tavrish and Zayin, that under the chuppah there is a yichud pnimi, which is only mentioned in this maimah. The Fidikah of Ismail is not mentioned about yichud avo. In the Fidikah of Ismail, it talks about yichud zum. 
Chosen is Daimon of Melech, and the Kav is Daimon of Malka, Zohan Malchus. That's how it's in the Fidik of his mind. The Rebbe is Masev, based on the Kutitera, that's also Yichud Avo, which is famous, and it's the same thing. It's Mashbir Makabal in the level of Meichid. Zohan Malchus, or Chach Membina. So it's also Yichud of Mashbir Makabal. But, as he says in the end of the first Sif of the Maimah, he says that the Ikud, the Ika Yichud Pnimi is only Yichud Zohar Malchus. Actually, we didn't mention this last time, so we most of that. He says at the end of Sif Aleph, when he finishes teaching the, the Pasad Al Kol Kavit Chupa, he says that there's Kavod Achos and Kavod Akala, Lamaili Yisa Kavod Da'ava Kavod Ima, and through, and he says even though the Yichud of Zul, the Yichud of Avo and Yichud of Zul, sorry, the Kavod and the Chupa of Zul. Of Zun and the Kavod the Chup of Avo is taken market, which is very high. Nevertheless, Davka be Yichud Zun Nimshach Ha'etzer. Now, as you see clearly, that the only Yichud Pnimi, the real Yichud Pnimi, is Yichud of Zal Malchus. And you have the same thing at the end of Perish Shlishi. He says, "Om no Malidei Ashpo Pnimi Shela Achrizeh Nimshach Ha'etzer Shela Ma'ilim Yamakiv Al Derech Hanal Sif Aleph the Ma'ilus Yichud Zun Shehu Yichud Pnimi Al Yichud Avo." Could be Adam Matzer Machzed of Atam Bekemis. So he, again, he's saying that the, he didn't say it clearly in the first seed, but it's understood from the first seed that Yichud Avo is considered Makif. We have a Yichud of Zun of Avo and Yichud Zun. Both should have a Makif and both should have a Boy from Primi. First should be a Chupa on, on, on Zor, Zor and Malthus together, which is a Chupa, which is Makif, and there's a Chupa also for Chachman and Bina. Chupa is Makiv. Then there's the Yichud. There's Yichud of Avor and there's a Yichud of Zun. There's two Yichudim. Nevertheless, the Yichud of Avor is considered Makiv beyachas to the Yichud of Zun. That's when it comes out, you see clearly at the end of the, of the Sif Gimel. Mamayrus Yichud Zun al Yichud Avor. Why is that? So, first of all, it's, it's, it's worth mentioning that in Vuhuk Chos and Nun Zayn, the Rebbe Rasham says, that the Yichud Avor takes place under the Chuppah. When you give the Tabas Kiddushin, that's the Yichud Avor. But you see then, it's all Makif, it's still in the Chuppah, it's not, it's still in an Eifin of Makif. So, why is Yichud Avor considered Makif? Is first of all, we say it in davening every, every Shabbos. Where do we say in davening that Meichin is Makif the Gabi Midas? We say in Keil Odin, we say, uh, God love it to Molly Eilon. God love it to his midis, Chesed. God love it to the Molo. Das is Vuna, save him, my day. And Meichin is Makif, because Meichin, the Gabi Midis, is Makif. In simple language, if somebody understands something in his head, but it doesn't affect him in his heart, so he's learned the halachas of Shabbos, but he's not planning on keeping Shabbos, that's a Makif to kill him with. If he learns about something, or for us, if we learn see this and it doesn't affect us, it's makif. If we learn it and it affects us, but if we admit this, then it's called primis. So yichud avo could be a yichud, but by yachas to midis, the person should change, and should be, um, f- he should feel it in his lev, in his midis, that's called primis. So that's why he says yichud avo could be a yichud, but by yachas to the ike yichud, the, the real yichud primi is in Zohar Malchus. That's called the yichud primi. So anyway, so the Rebbe's uh, main theme in this Maime is to explain that the Yichud, the, the Hashpoi Samakif, it comes before the Pnimis, even though it's Makif, it's very, very important. That's why it starts off the whole Kesha. Between that makes the Talmud into a Talmud, that's what makes the Makabal into a Makabal, and then he's able to Makabal the Pnimis. Why? Because the Makif has a higher Sherish. So it goes like this, there's a Seder. There's Makif, Pnimi, and then higher than both. That's how the Seder works. Actually, it's not the deal like that. It just depends which sif we're learning. We'll soon see how it changes from sif to sif. But the derech klal goes like this: you have makif, then you have pnimi. Pnimi is going down from the makif. Makif is 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 always bigger, and pnimi is you being mitzamtzum to the kli. You're going down to the level of the makabel. So, for example, the joke that the mils the b'dicha said that he says first is sichas uh, chumshot hamidichachamim, which is very high. But it's makif, you're not going down to the thing of the Talmud, it's something very chitzaini, it's only a joke. Then when you're being metzamtzum by from Pnimi, you're taking the, this, this Gorn, is taking his deep seichel, and he's being metzamtzum that the child, the Talmud, should understand 
The Talmud should understand this second set of symptoms. It's going down. The Chiddush is that Davka through the Yichud Pnima, when you're going down, which is you're going to end up reaching high. You're going to end up with a gain in the end. Like he finishes off the first seed, or the second one. Even though you're teaching the child, you're going down to the Talmud, you're going down to his level, you're being mitzamtum, nevertheless, you're going to gain. Right, so that's how it goes. Makiv Pnimi, and then a certain ilu that comes out afterwards. Either you reach higher, or there is nimshech, something higher, nimshech the etzim, or you reach to a higher level. As we'll see, actually, it's interesting. You see, each sif, it goes by sigurug negovas. Each, each sif ch- changes. The first end of sif alaf, he says, dafka through the yichud pnimi is nimshech ha etzim. So that means, he's not talking about what happens afterwards. He says, by the yichud pnimi. Even though it's a yichud pnimi, which is a tzimtzum, is nimshech b'shas maise the etzim. Comes to the end of Sif base, he says, Dafka through the Yichud Pnimi, Magim le ilu You reach something higher. That means after the Yichud Pnimi, the Namshkor Pnimi is, you reach something higher than Makiv. The end of Sif Dalet, he goes back and he says, Omnum alidea Ashpo Pnimi shal achrize, Nimshach ha etzim shal amayle mea Makiv. Nimshach ha etzim. And then afterwards he finishes off Sif Dalet also. Alidei. And the kid of Pnimi is Magim Lomai Liyesa. He goes to Sirugi. One Sif is Nimshach Ha'etzim, the next Sif he says Magim Lomai Liyesa. And he goes back Nimshach Ha'etzim, then Magim Lomai Liyesa. It's an interesting thing. So maybe we'll get to that later. Akopon, the, the, the Seder is, in the Maime is, he shows you the Maila of the Makiv, then the Maila of the Pnimi, or the, rather the Chisoran of the Pnimi, and how this this Chisoran comes to a Maila. Either Bashas Maisa is Nimshach Ha'etzim, or Achrizeh Magim Le'ilu Inai Liyesa. Right, that's the basic uh, is sort of the mind. Um, okay, so up to Sif Dalla. I think we'll start inside Sif Dalla. Unless there's anything that we left out that anybody wants to uh, ask about. It was clear about the tiny of the and the tiny of Atsumi and the tiny of the Mordish. That was clear. Should I repeat that again? Yeah. Okay, so by the Rav and Talmud, you have the Rav is Mashpir first a Milsa de Bedichasa, which is a tiny poshut. Why is it a tiny poshut? Because it's not it's not a seichel de tiny, it's not Mitsumsum Tenikate, it's a joke. And when a person laughs, he's just free. It's a free type of happiness, it's a free type of tiny. It's not modded or mukul in Kalim. So it's called a tiny poshut. Then afterwards, he's mitzamtum himself, and he's being mashpia seichel, which is a tiny, which is mulkiv and seichel, it's a tiny mitzumtum. Through going down to the Talmud with this, with this tiny mitzumtum, the Rav reaches a tiny, which is higher than even the tiny of a milsa de So even though the tiny of a milsa de has a shayrish in the tiny kapashut, which is built in mulkiv, nevertheless, Dafka, when he goes down to the Talmud, is Mashpir Bay from Pnimi, he reaches a Tainuk Atzmi Bilti Murgish. These were the terms that we had, we spoke about last time, what does it mean, Tainuk Atzmi, Tainuk Poshut Habilti Murgish, but is Murgish, and Tainuk Atzmi Habilti Murgish. We have three types of Tainuk. We have Tainuk Murgish, that would be a Tainuk that's Murgish, it's made up of something else, for example, the Tainuk in Seichel, the Tainuk in a in a nigger, the tainig in food, these are tainugim which are murkiv with something else. Then you have a tainig poshut, which is a free tainug. It's not based on anything in particular. It's the freeness of the nefesh that he's not mukul and he's laughing, he's happy. Not dafka because of the, anything particular. It's not mitzumtzum, it's not murkiv with a particular thing. The joke just ignited a free happiness of the, of, of the nefesh, a tainig poshut. So that's called a tainig poshut built in murkiv. It's not murkiv in anything else, it's free. And then, higher than that, is a Tainug Atzmi, that means it's something in the Etzem, which is built in Murgish. It's not Murgish. What does it mean it's not Murgish? So, we explained last time, that means that all other Tainugim, whatever Tainug you have, it could be in two ways. It could be Murgish, that means it's coming out and expressing itself, and is Nirgish in the volume of the person or in the cases of the person. For example, if you find out that you just won a few million dollars, you are going to feel happy, and it's going to give you a psichas hamechin, the stammer, and psichas halev, and some people even start jumping for joy, so it's going to be mulgish. You can see his, his feet are dancing, he's happy. 
That's Murgish, it's Beis Gal, it's Vaham Shacha. A Tarnik Atzmi built in Murgish means it's so deep inside, it's going upwards, not downwards. It's not Murgish in the Evarim, it's within himself, it's Pnimi, it's Atzmi, and it's not expressing itself in the Evarim. So it's built in Murgish, it's not Murgish in the Evarim, it's not Murgish in the Klechas, it's all within the Etzim. We gave an example last time about, it says by Yaakov, that when he was told finally that Yosef is, is alive, he says uh, he didn't want to believe it, he didn't accept it, he was, he was in denial. So in one line it says that at that point he had such a tiny look at me, it was not able to express itself, so consciously he was saying it can't be. And he wasn't showing any happiness, and he, he didn't want to accept it. But inside, there was a tiny look at me, he wasn't, he wasn't able to express it in any way, it was too in it, it was, too, it was going within himself. Actually, it was interesting in Tashim and Dalet, I think it was Pashas Nitzom Vayelach that everyone was speaking about the Hemshech of Ayn Beis, about learning Chesidus, and he was saying about when you learn Chesidus, you've got to try and translate the things into practical ways that you can you can understand what you're talking about. It shouldn't be Oasis Perchus Be'avi. And the, Rebbe, the example the Rebbe gave is, for example, this Indian of Tainu. It says Shabbos is you have a Tainu, um, Leil Shabbos, you have Yom Shabbos, and then you have Tiny of Shalashudas, which is tiny built in Murgish. This is an example of tiny built in Murgish. So the Rebbe says, So I asked somebody, you made Kiddush today? Yeah, you made Kiddush today. No, do, were you Masonic about Smusa? <laughs> you know what I was talking about. This is what the Rebbe said. You didn't know what I was talking about. So you're talking about Masonic about Smusa. Tiny got me. What's it, Masonic about what does that mean? You made Kiddush and it was Masonic about Smusa. It has to be translated in simple language. So that would be an example. As far as we can understand it, a tiny gatsmi would be something that hits the etzem so deep that it can't express itself. In fact, in the mind in, in, in the psalm of the psalm, he says he, he remains like an even daimon. He's too, it's too deep, he can't do anything. He's, he's, he's stuck like an even daimon, which is a very high level. So through the rav being mashpia to the Talmud, way from Pnimi, he reaches this tiny gatsmi. So you see that through hashpa, you reach a tiny which is even higher than the, the milsa of the Pnimi. Anyway, let's go inside from Sif Dalet. Sif Dalet is the Chalik of Aveda, where you have also the same Seder, Makif, Pnimi, which should have the same Seder. We'll soon see that's a bit problematic here. You should have Makif, Pnimi, and then get to something higher than both. It's Pnimi, that Vadeh, the Uba Aveda, Kameshim Avai, Vahamayma, Shas Cholas Avedis Adam Bechol Yoim, he Avedis at Villa. Kameshim Emma, Chidlu Lachem in Haadam Ashen Shama Bapai. Be aware of somebody whose neshama is only in his nose. Because what's he worth? Say Chazal, Al Tika Bame El Abama. He's not. Don't read the word Bame. What is he worth? El Abama. He's like a bomb. He's like a an elevated mitzvah. He's a yesh. The Alter Rebbe and the Rebbe Marash both explained. We'll soon see when I put these two together. <coughs> He's like a, a big Metzius. Tefillah means to connect. Person, he connects. Also here you have to have the general like we had in learning. First he has to say a joke and then he can start learning. So what is the Kiruv Kloli? In davening, commotion of Ayn Yanba Mami doesn't get into it. That's Mistama. I'll pay the shit to the Rebbe not to mention anything that's not in the cover of Simcha if possible. So, in the mind of the Fidik Rebbe, talks about what the union of the Kirib Kloli is. Kavid Rosh means feeling low and shiftless and, uh, and mirirus. So, Krishna Shemar Shalom, Krishna Shemit, and Krishna Shal Shemit. Krishna Shalamita the night before, which is an Indian of Mirirus, and then you come to Tefillah the next day, which is a kid of Pnimi. So, since Krishna Shalamita is an Indian of Hepecha Simcha, so the Rebbe doesn't even mention it, he says, That's the Makif to get uh, closeness. A kid of Klob. But Achkar Nasa, a kid of Pnimi, he gets very close. Sha'odam is Kasha Belakus. But if in Kazer, he gets so close, he's over Kusha. The rest of the day. Now, what's for Yuvan Zer? For Yuvan Zer to understand this, that what? How is it that he has the power to have such an effect? Now, we have to look at how does Tfila have the power to have such an effect? That all his Gashmi should be a Kelo to Lukus? Is this will be understood 
על פי מה שבי על בעל שם טוב, איסא שאילה שולם כאלה מהתפילה. וואי אנטי זמן תעשה שלום עליכם סתם בי בפור דבני, שהוא על דרך מה שכוסר בכיס ואריזל ואיני כיבד אחר גודל. אבל הוא חייב להונא את אולדה ברד. וואי? מפני שדרוכה הוא דשוות בגבי. There's ruach of the av is in the aim. It says actually, Chassanim should know this, that the first, uh, the first night is very much negeir because the, that first mitzvah, the first time, is when the ruach of the ish is, goes into the isha and everything goes according to that. So that's why it's called the biras mitzvah. It's a, the biggest thing. That's ruachu de shavim b'gavei shebeben ha'alef yesh ruach ha'av yesem misha ha'bonim that the first child takes most of the Ruach of the Av that's in the Isha. That's why it's a bit of shy, the way it says Begavei. Begavei is Lashon Zohar. It should have said Begavo. And actually in the Mechelis it does say Begavo. So Yesh Loden, Yesh Lain, but they won't say Begavei. But it's not Negei now. The thought is that the Ruach of the Av is in the Aim, and the first Ben takes from that Ruach. V'chol Sha'a Bodem Neiklem Beruch HaDa'av Alidei Ben Harishin. So since he got the most so everything comes through him. In other words, everything is based on the first child. The child would be, what if you have a, a bust killer? There's an inya of kibud acha godl. Is there inya of kibud eim ha godl? I'm sorry, achais ha godl? So yes, shame him there is. Yes, shame him there is. That's already a exact thing. ומצד רוח האב שבא אחה גודל מחויב מהם לחבק מי שהם מחויב מרכיב את האב just like you have to honor the father, you have to honor the father that's in the older son. שלכן למד מדין זה מהפוזר כבד אס אבי אחד אבקר. אס, לרב אסרחי חגלו. כי כבד אחה גודל נכלל בכיבוד אב. Because it's, what are you being מחבים? You're מחבים the father, the father, the way he's in the older son. So you're receiving from. So כמי כן הוא. So what's the dogma? It's, it's explaining that the Bechoyer, the first son, he's the Ica, he gets most. He gets most of everything from the father. So this is a dogma that the first thing has an effect on the rest. In the signal that we know of, Why? Because that's the first Shabbos. That's the first, you're going out of Tishri. This is the first Shabbos after all the Yom Tevim. It's Mechabal all the Yom Tevim first. So he's the first Shabbos. Now all the Shabbos, all the Shabbos of the rest of the year, all based on how you how you put yourself on the first Shabbos. So it's always the first. All depends on the first Dibu. The reason why he's doing Dibu first is because that's how it is in Kesar Shem Tov, which he's basing it on. Which is a Heirah on a by the way. Heirah is the first Machshavah Dibu Maise should be in Avedis Hashem. That nowadays there's a lot of machshirim, uh, shainim, umishunim, which uh, have also tefes mokim in a person's life. Is at least the first machshavah dimamaisa should be in inyonim of kedusha. Afterwards, you can check up what the messages came in. These things come second. The first thing is meidaani, nevulvasa. The dibu should be the maisa should be something in avedis Hashem and machshavah also. Because if that's not the first step, then even though after you go to Yonim Gashmim, but it has a, an element of Kedusha in it also. Then the, then the Rebbe finishes off. In a daf, kadi dey ze. Shal kiriv pni mishaloy lo lakus beis atfil lehu boifin kazeh she mamshech oyer lekiv in Yonav Gashmim ad she oisa oisom kedum lo lakus. If he does the first step of, of the day, which is the davmi. And he has that kid of Pimi Telukus in the beginning of the day. To the extent that it affects the rest of the day, that the rest of the day is also Kedu Melukus, is Magim Ramayli Yaisa. You reach higher. What's Rav Tuus Bekerch Shoyer? Shoyer, in the olden days, that's how they used to plow fields. So, how do you get all the food for the whole country from this ox? If you would be asked to plow, you'd be schlepping it. How, get, how, how much can you schlep? Well, an ox is powerful, and he can do it. So if you utilize the ox, you can get rough tools, you get plenty of uh, produce. So although he's an ox, but if you make him into a keli in other words, you use him out. The teyelas, they can get rough tools. Take the Nefshah Bahamis and the Ginyan and Gashmim and your Mamshech and the and these Ginyan and Gashmim, you'll have an Ilu Yosh, you'll get to much, much more. You'll have rough tools in Ruchnius. 
Now the uh, thing that needs a little bit of explanation over here is Lamaira Yosef from what? If you do feel in the beginning of the day that he brings a lakus into all the Nyanam Agashmim, is Magim Lamaira Yosef. You go higher than what? Higher than what the Nisham, obviously higher than what the Nisham can do on its own. You're doing but what was the seda over here? Usually we have makif, pnimi, and then we get to the ilui. What was the makif over here? The makif, he says, the kid of Klali is the, is the, what well, he doesn't say, it says, mm-hmm. the, the kovid rosh. And then there's the <coughs> hashpo pnimis. What's the hashpo pnimis? There's a hashpo over here. He's davening. It's the other way around. He's not being much be anything. He's going upwards. What's tefillah? How, how does this fit in with the rest of the mind? We're going in hashpo. It's mashpir makabu. We've got a moshe from a rav and a tam. We've got a moshe from a rav and a ben. And the nimshu is chasen and kala. Okay, so I see a mashpir makabu. And first he does makif, then he does primi, and through the primi he gets to something higher. Where do you have now in davening hashpo primi? Davening is he's miskar away from klali through a covid rosh, and then afterwards he's miskar away from primi. He doesn't. Where's the hashpo over here? So that's why we'll have to be medayik and the Lushan to drop more. When he says the Lushan of davening, the kid of Pnimi, he says, Sha'od miskasha velukus bo oifen kozeh, shemam shecha velukus bo chol inyan of hagashmi. There is a hashpo of Pnimi over here. There's an inyan of hashpo over here. And you, if you take the mocker of the mind which the Rebbe says, he says, Why does he put the two Rabbeim together? And if you look at the Tzir, the Maramakim is to the Kutatera, you see it says the Kutatera in Pashas Pinchas, then it says, Hagdomul al Kutatera le Gimu Pashas la Adma Marash, which is the Sefer doesn't exist really actually nowadays. Right? This is the Sefer, the Kutatera le Gimu Pashas, was a Sefer which actually was printed in Memdala, Tafish Memdala, which was a year after they started the Reb Marash. What it was, it's known that the Reb Marash started writing a new Lakuta Torah. And he managed to get through three parashas. Maybe there's more, but Akapan, what was printed was only for Bereshus, Neach, and Nechlecha. It's Maimon of the Alter Rebbe, with Hagos of the Tzemach Tzedek, with his Hagos. So it's called Lakuta Torah Lugim of Parashas. It was printed not in the Bechai of the, of the Reb Marash, it was printed in Tafrish Memdal. In that, when that sefer came out, so they wanted to make a hagdoma to that sefer. So the Rebbe Rashab chose this mima called Lahoven in Yenef Shalakis. It was actually recently reprinted that mima on its own in Tofresh Membeis, the, the Rebbe Marash's new sefer Maimari, the latest Akhopan, there's another one missing. But the, the latest one of the set is Tofresh Membeis, you'll see that mima Lahoven in Yenef Shalakis. If you look in that mima, you'll see that it's a long mima, but if you get to the Nakuda, you'll see that there's two ways of davening. There's two ways of davening. You can daven in a way that the neshama is miskasha to lakus, going upwards, which that that's what tefillah is. Sulam mutzvah, is supposed to climb up and get close to the Ebishta. But the mechuvan of the tefillah is that your ha'oras and neshama, which is in the guf, should be miskasha with the neshama, which is lamayim. As it says, odo. Adam is Alaf Dam. The, the, the Dam, which is the Chelik of the Nisham, which is in the Guf, should be Miskasha with the Alaf, should be Miskasha with the Lakus, the Maida. That's one way of davening. Another way of davening is what he's talking about here, that the Nishama is Ba'ape, means it's it's only in his Af, it's only in his nose, means it's not expressed. The Nishama has no expression in the Dam of the person. Right? You, when a person is, when he wakes up, He's beika guf is there. There's no neshama, and if there's a little bit of the neshama that's shining, the guf at the time is only ba'apoy. That's why he's a bomber. He's a whole matzias. Because what do you feel when you wake up? The guf. Because b'shas he's sleeping, the neshama is mistalik from the guf, and there's only a little bit left just to keep him alive. Kiss the dechayusa that keeps him alive. So when he comes back, when he wakes up, that's why there's a whole thing of negulvasa. Why negulvasa? Because it's shishim misa. And you have to wash it, and the only thing that's left is left on the hands, so you have to do Negolvasa straight away. Okay, but does that mean once you've done Negolvasa, the Nisham is back in the whole It doesn't mean that, it just means you took away the Yenika Sachitsodium, the Tumah, from, uh, from the hands, and the Nisham is back in the Gulf, but he's still not Mispashit in the Gulf. He's not Mispashit in the Dam. 
So since he's not respashing the dam, so what's going to be the Aved of Tefillah? Is to be Mamshech the Neshama into the Guf, into the Nefshe Bahamas. So when you daven also, if, you, if you're Isaac in his brainless and davening, you also have two types of his brainless. The Chlod is the difference between davening on Shabbos and davening in the weekdays. What's the difference between Tefillah of Shabbos and Tefillah of the weekdays? Tefillah of Shabbos is Be'ika an Aved of San Neshama. The Neshama is being miskash with the Lukus, you're being Megala higher in Yon and the Neshama. The Neshama you say that a person has a Shabbos is a, is a is a scholar of the Neshama in a higher form. He has a it's much more shy to Abbas Hashem. These are higher levels, is a Shabbos, different. So there is Havedis Hanashama Kishal Atzma. But then there's an Ash the Aved of the Mesh of the week is not so much the Skala Sanashama. Of course you want to connect up with higher, but the Iki is to be Mamshik, the kir the Kirif of the Neshama, the Kirif Pnimi is that the Neshama should be mispashed in the Ivara Magashma, in the Nefsha Bahamis, to be pearl something on the Nefsha Bahamis. So the Ispoidness will be not so much uh, going up, it will be concentrated somehow in the Aved of the person. So they have an example. What would be the difference between the Isbainness and the Tefillah and Shabbos and Tefillah on the weekdays? For example, it's only in a dogma. On Shabbos you could be more Isbain in Yechudi law, and the weekdays is more Yechudi Tato, even though you have to do both, both times. Meaning, the Shabbos you can be, you can fly high. You don't have to concentrate on any Midas, the Tikkun HaMidas or anything like that. You just fly high. Kavonis, Elyonis. You can go into your Chudila, little bit Metzias. Fine. In the week, it has to be concentrated, is, so that means that what's coming next in Velt, whatever it's going to be, whether it's going to be Achil Shtia, it's going to be Masa Matan, or whatever Inyonim is going to do in the world, is going to be, but even Kazer, that he's going to make it a Keli Tolokus. So Bishas Atfila, he's being Mamsha, he's being Mashpia, he's not just going up. He's being mashpia, mumayla lamata, into his guf, into his nefesh bahamis. So it is a type of hashpah pnimis. In other words, if we take the Rav and Talmud, the Rav is teaching the Talmud. In this context, the neshama is teaching the nefesh bahamis. He's raising up the nefesh bahamis, who's, who's a bomber. There's a whole mitzias. That means he's low down in biyah, and he's trying to elevate him from pirud and from yeshus to some type of edel kaidesh. It can become a keli to a lakus. So he's doing that Bishas Davening, and if he does that Bishas Davening at the beginning of the day, it's going to affect the rest of the day. So then the Magir and the Maile Yesi is going to come higher than even the Maile of the Neshama Kishal Atzma. In other words, you may think, well, Davening on Shabbos is the highest thing. Then you concentrate on your Chudi Law, you're flying very high. But in the weekdays, you're going down, you're getting into the Nefshah Bahamis, and it's Yichudi Tato, and Biru Hamidis, and all of that. So it's a Hashpo going down, it's a Yerida. No, Magir Lamayla Yeshi, you're going to end up even higher because you're going to have much more chayas when you when you transform that Nefshah Bahamis into a, a powerful ox that's making produce, in other words, gives you a lot of chayas, then you have much more chayas. That's why it says, for example, where's the mocker of the, of the Nefshah Bahamis? The mocker of the Nefshah Bahamis is from Pnei Shoshu Bamarkova, right? Which is Pnei Shoshu Bamarkova is in Oedem HaYitzira. And what does it say about Malachim and Oedem HaYitzira? You say every day davening, Ha'ifanim v'chayes ha'chaydish v'raash gadol. V'umas ha'srof and the srofim are quiet. They daven quietly. But the ha'ifanim and Eidom ha'yitzira is v'raash gadol. That raash gadol they don't have. And sometimes it says that the ha'ifanim with their raash gadol are much higher sometimes than the than the srofim, even though the srofim are on a higher level. So there's a mile and rough tours through the... So here you see again the same thing. It's like Hashbo Pim. There's the same setup. You have the Makif, which is a kid of Kloli. The Pnimi is being Mashpia and the Nefshah Bahamis in a way that it should affect the Gashmis. So you're being Mashpia, Mumayla Lamata, to the Nefshah Bahamis, to Velt, making it a Kedah to the Kuz. And then it bounces back, but you reach a higher level. Okay. Sif Hay. So now he's going back to the Shadish in the Maid. In the spheres it's the same thing. Maybe I should mention something else, which is negate at the beginning of the Maid. I forgot to mention at the beginning. Right at the beginning he says that why are we talking about Zohar Malchus? Because Chosen Daimel Melech and Kala Daimel Malka, right? So Chosen is Zo and the Kala is Malchus. And the whole system of the Maimi is Mashpir Makabu. Zo Malchus, Achmun Bina, Avon Ben, Avon Talmud, the whole Mashpir Makabu. So, do we need a Chupaf every time we uh, give Tzedakah to someone? It's Mashpir Makabu. Do we use a Chupaf uh, every time we have a Shir between a Rav and a Talmud? And every time the sun wants to be picked up, do you need a chuppah? 
The whole thing, our call call with Chupa, Chosen Daimel and Melech. Chosen Dafke is Daimel and Melech. That day is special Daimel and Melech. Every Mashpir should be Daimel and Melech. Chosen is a Chupa and he's Daimel and Melech. Isn't any Mashpir a couple Daimel and Melech? His vice says that it's not like that. That's why if you look in the mind of the Fidika Rebbe, he says that he brings that, also here the Rebbe brings it down, I think, that <coughs> Malka, but on, he doesn't bring it down here, you doubt it, and it's coming from the mind of uh, the Fidika Rebbe, it says, Malka, b'loi matru nisa, love evil melech. A king without a queen is not a, is not a king. In other words, we're talking dafka about a king and a queen. In other words, we're talking about a certain type of... The only time you're going to be called a king is if there's a matronisa, if there's a queen. In other words, the truth is, every mashpir makabal is bedugma zo'o malchus. Mashpir makabal. Every mashpir makabal is bedugma zo'o malchus. But you don't need the whole parade of a, of a badekanish and a chupa to, to give tzlaka to, to an oni. The reason is because it's, it's only bedugma in a certain sense that he's doing a mashpah. But it's only a, it's not a real hashpa. It's not the same thing as what we're talking about, a chasen kala. Why? Because chasen and kala, the hashpa is a hashpa atzmis. Obviously, the Indian of Eilod is hashpa atzmis. So it's a much, it's a yichud which ain't kamoy. By a, by an oni and an osher, when the osher gives his, his ten cents to or his even a hundred thousand dollars to the oni, it doesn't matter. What is he? He's giving his money. He's not giving from himself. When a rav gives to a talmud, he's giving his svaris, but he's not giving from his etzer. Here, by Hashpah of Heiloda, you're giving from the Etzim. Then, you would do Mashur, the Emerson Mashpir. The Emerson Mashpir is all Malchus. So only when you're up to the Indian of Yem Chasunose, uh, then you have the Atara Shitla Yem of Yem Chasunose. That's when you need a Chupa, because in order to do Hashpah Atzmis, you need in a Sinus Kayach. Atara Shitla Yem. Where do you get the Sinus Kayach from? That's coming through the Chupa. Which reminds me to remind you again that the Chupa is the biggest Ace Rotson. That's when the Hashpo Atzmis comes down, the Atarash Itilat Yimoy, especially when the car is going round, the Chlal standing under the Chuppah. And that's why it's an Eitzrat, and it's very important to have the right Kavanas for Shas Maisa. As I mentioned last time, I mentioned it again, to remind you that the Rebbe Rashab said once to a Chosen that under the Chuppah you can Eisbet, that means you can not just ask, you can be pearled, they should have Bonim, Yerishamayim, Tamimim, Chsidim, all the Milas. And it all depends on the machshava under the chuppah. That's why you should be aware in advance that there's going to be bilbuli. Besides going around, which is itself could be a bilbuli, keep your eyes closed. Maybe you don't have to watch anything happening. And don't listen to the conversations going on. Somebody's lost the ksuba, the other one doesn't know where the ring is. Who has the ring? Who's the aidim? Where's the mic? All these things are bilbuli. You, you stand in atzilus and don't worry about anything else and have the right kavanas. And they wish to them. It has been known, it has been said that people who thought of certain things under the chuppah was stuck in his kind, whatever they... I don't think you should think about becoming a multimillionaire under the chuppah, because I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know if you can twist the Abish's arm to have exactly what you want. But if you ask that, you should be have things a bit easier, and it should be able to be kind of Abish's Rotson. That's the Ike Kavana. There's all Eishfir and the Rebbe's Kavana. That should be the old thing. And should, if you said this Maimah, which is a Hasmona to the Nasim, right? What's the mind of this Maimah, the Gav the Fidika was Maimah? You should say, which mime are you going to say? I'm not going to tell anybody what to say, but which mime would you like to say? Would you think it should be said by a Kabbalah spotting? The Fidik Rebbe's mime or the Rebbe's mime? This is a pilpul that's been going on for the last 50 years. So the answer is both. But if you say both, you're going to have most of the people who came to the Kabbalah spotting will have left by the time you finish <laughs> to get through to the second one. So what should be done, the Chaira, should be two Kabbalah spottings. That you have your chaverim, you get a minion of chaverim, or a few guys, you sit down, you say the Fidik Rebbe's mine. And then you do the official one, you say the Rebbe's mine. With the Balpe inside, obviously better Balpe, but if you can say them both Balpe, it would be fine. If you can't do that for whatever reason, it's a suggestion, it's only a suggestion. It will be suggested that during the day at some point, or maybe during the Kabbalah's Panem, while everybody's busy singing, you go through the Fidik Rebbe's mine to yourself quietly, inside if you don't know, outside, and then you chaser the Rebbe's mine. This way you have the best of both. Why should you do both, my modern? Because the Rebbe said to say the Fidik Rebbe's Maimah. And when the Fidik Rebbe said the, his Maimah, he said beforehand that the Shas, the Kabbalah's pun, the Shas, uh, a person says, Torah from, uh, from the from, from Tzadikim, Yehei, the Gemara says, Right? So the Yushami it says that you should imagine the person is there. 
not just an imagination because he is there. He's Yeshiv Ramit Kenegde. And the, Rebbe, the Phoenix Rebbe said, <coughs> three generations come to every chuppah. And uh, so those that come even more, obviously he was referring to the Rebbe's chuppah, but all the generations are going to come. Therefore, so the Phoenix Rebbe, as a Hasman to the Neshamas of Tzadikim, which are going to come to the chuppah, so the Rebbe Rebbe says, I'm going to say a chsidis, a maimah, which has a chedi from the Alter Rebbe, a chedi from the Mikla Rebbe, a chedi from the Elter Zayda, meaning the Tzemach Tzedek, a chedi from the Fun Zayda, the Elter Zayda from Shor HaKala, which means the Rebbe Marash, a chedi from Elter Elter Zayda Shor HaChosn. Who's the Elter Elter Zayda of the Chosn? Baruch Shon. You know any of my modern of Baruch Shon? Has ever been printed in my Baruch Shon? Does everybody hear that he has anything with Baruch They say, and I think in the, what do you call it, Mei Chabad, the red safer with all the dates, they say that they found it, Ksovim, after he was in Nistalik. He was the only Rebbe, he was the only son of the Tzermach said that refused to take any Nasiyas. He remained in the Babbage, and he didn't want to take any Nasiyas. In fact, um, it was him that had the whole Shaila with the Tzvillin, if, you, if you've ever noticed there's a Shaila about somebody who was, uh, who was missing, Tzermach Tzedek has Chubas about somebody who has missing a hand. I mean, he has an arm, but he doesn't have a hand. Uh, which which hand should you put on Tefillin? In other words, he could he's really right-handed, but he's missing a hand. In other words, his power is in his right, but he can't write with his right because he doesn't have a hand. The, bar, the whole Shadow was about the Baruch Shalom, because he was missing, I think, fingers or something. I don't know, he was born like that. And um, so he he did one take out an Nasius, and, um, and he remained in Lubavitch, and he must have written because even though he was missing his right hand, he must have written with his left hand because they found afterwards Ksavim. And just before he was in Stalag, uh, for some reason they wanted to move him to a different house in Lubavitch. So they asked him if he could move. He says, no, he wants to stay where he is. So they, they forced him. They sort of begged him and they had to do the renovations. Whatever it was, any, whatever it was, they made him move. So when he finally moved, he says, what's Vilman for me? I said, I'll let him why, why, why are they bothering me? I want to live a little bit longer. But in the end, he moved, and shortly after, it was Nistalik. He knew if he was going to move to this place, whatever, for whatever reason, that was the going to be the end. <coughs> but Bechlau, we never heard from him. Right? <coughs> Here you see, somewhere in this Lachadayi, the Fidik Rebbe, there's Miteirasev and Baruch Shalom, as an Elta Elta Zayda of the Chasen of the Rebbe. We don't know if that's in the Maim of Tosh and Yudam. So if you want to have a house, if you want to be Mazmin of Baruch Shalom, which Mistama would mean, part of the, uh, the family tree of the Rebbe, you're going to have to say the Fidik Rebbe's Maimon. And then the Rebbe said, uh, from the, the Fidik Rebbe said, Achelik from Tatan, well, this is the Kava Zayda, it means the Rebbe Rasha. That's the Maila of the Maimon of the Fidik Rebbe. Tell him it wasn't. What's that? It wasn't the Rebbe, the touching down said in response to the Bachman asked the Rebbe that there's nothing from the Rebbe? So, I don't know. So I heard the Rebbe said that the year, it was Ersten uh, used to add it, and then the Rebbe gives none. So Chur, if the Rebbe said it for that reason, not stand. Yeah, yeah, I'm not arguing with you, but the problem is that the Maila, the first time I talk about the Maila Yusuf, the Tavshin Yudalad, you have two main Mailas of the Rebbe's Maila, if we can speak in that Shabbat, so we can to speak like that, but um, two main Inyanim which we see which are different than the Rebbe's Maila, and that is that, number one, he mentions all the Rabbeim by name. Now from Tavshin, in Tavshin Yud, when the Rebbe started saying my Marim in Tavshin Yud Aleph, the, the Rebbe's first mind was Basil Ligani, and he mentioned all the Rabbeim by name, three times at least, with three sto- with stories, with all the names, in the first mind. But he only mentioned to the Alter Rebbe. He didn't mention the Balshem to the Magi. Immediately the Shabbos after that, which was, I think, Yud Gibel Shvat, Pashas B'Shalach, the Rebbe came into the Zal and sat down and said another Maimah, Ha'yishev Esbedani. But before he said the Maimah, he said, that since by the chuppah, the shver, the Rebbe the shver, only mentioned till the Alter Rebbe, so that's why in the Maimah of Yud Shvat, I only mentioned till the Alter Rebbe. Because the, the Rebbe the shver only mentioned to the Alter Rebbe. But it bothers me, says the Rebbe. Said, it was bothering him that he only mentioned to the Alter Rebbe. Therefore, the Tor HaShlomah, the Hemshech, the Fidika Maimah, the previous Maimah of Basilegani, I'm now going to say another Maimah and add on the Basilegani <coughs> to the Maimah. 
So you see, for some reason, the Rebbe wanted all of the Bashar to the Magid. And then the Rebbe said then, it's so based on the Shla that says that if you really want and you have a Cyrus and a Chukka to be Miskasha, to Tzadikim is just saying the names is also something. Just saying the names. In other words, if you're stuck and you don't, you want to have Miskashas to Tzadikim and you don't know what to do, just say the names of Tzadikim. So, you see that the Rebbe wanted to add on the Baal Shem Tov and the Magid. In this Maimel HaChadoidi, which has taken place as a, as a, the Rebbe's form of the Chadoidi, what was said in Peites, you see Taka in this Maimel, the Rebbe adds on the Baal Shem Tov, we just had it. The Baal Shem Tov is the one that says uh, about the Isa She'ila Shalom Kedem HaTvila, and beforehand in the previous Seif, he brings down from the Magid, something that was not mentioned in the Maimel, he says clearly, V'shom Yeshna Hisofa Shaloi Net Keba HaMaimel, in Seif Gimel, and he brings down from the Magid that the, the Ben is Mishtashe with the Zokin, and the Rebbe learns about that. So you have the Baal Shem to the Magid, and the Emerson is you had another another inya, another name that's mentioned. Which other name is mentioned? It's Arizal. Arizal. Now, what's Arizal doing here? So in Toshimim David, Rosh Hashanah, the Rebbe mentioned the Arizal in the Maimah by name. I don't remember what the inya was, but he added on the Baal Shem the, the Arizal. So the Rosh Hashanah is a bit like Yitzhak, he mentions all the Nasim. Mem Dalit, he added on the, the Rebbe added on the Arizal. Later on in the Sikha, the Rebbe said that since Be'erech, that since there's Kum Tzu in Choshech, so you have to add on the Arizal as well. So there was a Hesaf from Mem Dalit on to add on the Arizal. In this Maimah, you have the Arizal. So you have two, two in Yonim. You had the, they're mentioned by name, all the Nasim. Plus it's mentioned the Magid, the Baal Shem Tov, and the Arizal. And also, obviously, it's the Rebbe's Maimah, which if you want to invite the Rebbe to the Chasna, it's Kedai to say. So what happened until they had this Mugah, which only came out in Lama Tess Mugah? So what did they do? People who ever had a shtick or the Sikha, whatever the Rebbe said, because the Rebbe just added on the Tor Sikha. It didn't sound like a Maimah when the Rebbe said it. The Rebbe spoke about it and then added on. It was all Ken Sikha. It was difficult to tell what, how exactly it was. They, they, this went through, I don't know how many Hagos, until it came out, the, the, the Mugah that we have. <coughs> Went through a few times. Each time they got it straight this way, then they got it that way. There's a few, there's a few different stories to this mind. This is the final thing what we have in my mind. look at. But um, until Lamitas, it wasn't Mugger. There was half Mugger here and half Mugger there, and a few bits and pieces. So what did they do? So people would say the Fidik was Maima, and they would add on a shtickle from the Rebbe. But here now you have a Mugger de Kamaima, Kule Mugger from the Rebbe. So obviously this should be the main Maima. But somebody who wants to invite the Baruch Shalom also, and to be Makaim the Heiro from Tavshin Yudim, what the Rebbe said to say, the Fidi gave his mind, so do both. Having said that, getting back to Zohar Malchus, the Seder was there, Hashem Ekeidim, Serachis, Hamshach Echitzainis, Vachach Hamshach Echitzainis. The Gam Hamshach Echitzainis, Ha Hamshach Echitzainis, He Hamshach Echitzainis, Be Yaisim. She He Bechinis Makif, Shalom Ayla, Me Ishtal Shalos Vekeidim. The first Amshach is Amshach of Derech Makif, which is higher than Kalim. The Chinin Niklet is Bisphere Samachus Bipnim Yusa. The Fishil of Mailim Hakolos Akim Shalot. So that's the first Amshach, the Makif Dikr. Ava Mikom Mokim Amshach Zu Hibichin Schitzainis, Shirak Haoda Bilvan. Nashein Kena Alidea Amshach of Primishimis Kabelis, Bamachus Bipnim Yusa, Magim the Maile Yasa, even higher than the Makif. So again, you see Makif, then Primi. And even though the Pnimi is L'chairi going into Malchus, which means you're going to be Pnimi's Malchus is a Tzimtzum, is Magim L'mayli Yeh. So what are you doing? Can I ask that? What's that? I have a question, but I have to... Well, now that it was for Hainyan, who he's going to explain now, how comes Taka? You're going down. You're going down to a Makabu. Right? Chosen Miloshen Nechosh Targi. You're going down a step. How comes you're going down, you end up going up? Because obviously it's going with the state of Giri de Seir Khali, but it needs a Hasbara. How comes when you go down, when the Rav was a, t- a tremendous goal and is now speaking to a child, explaining him something, so Matsumsum, he is going to reach higher. Actually, we had it in Rambam the other day, just like a small match can ignite a huge fire, there's a small town that can ignite Chidushim and big things by the Rav. So you see the Makabal can do something, but how comes in Shailush? So he says, because the, the Nakuda that's going to be explained now is because the Sherish of the Makabal is higher than the Sherish of the Mashbir. The Mashbir is Taka Mashbir and the Makabal is Taka Makabal. But the Sherish of the Makabal is, in Shoshoi, or Shoshoi, is higher than the Sherish of the Mashbir. 
The show because the show is of, of Macabre, not this particular person. It's not that's a Macabre. And um, he's a Macabre? Hmm? He's the Macabre, not that's a Macabre. Doesn't matter. He is now in this sea of Rav and Talmud. If he is the Rav and he's the Talmud, he represents Macabre. So he is now doing what Malchus is going to do to Zoe. And the same thing the Osher and the Oni. When, when the Osher gives money to the to the Oni, Misbarich. And you can see, actually, you can see even Bashas Maisa, the, when the, the Rebbe Mishra said and explains Barich is the difference between not Schilas and Besef and the Seif Maisa of Machshav at Chilo. So Barich is the Rebbe has a Maim also, Be'em Hashem, in the book Gimel, I think, or Hei. Um, and based on this, what's the difference between safe mice and not safe 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 and is the beginning and the end of something. The beginning and the end are connected. But safe mice and not safe is not the beginning and the end of something. Safe mice means afterwards, the makabal and the machshav and before the big thing began. It's outside of the hashwa. Which in this case would mean the the, the good the goodness of the, of the of the rich man and the Receiving of the of the poor man, that's the beginning of the end. So when he when he's giving it to the to the macabre, when he's giving the money to the poor person, that's the seifon, and that's not that's not chidlas in the beginning. Why is he giving now? Because he had a good feeling in his heart of kindness to give. So that started him off, and then he took out the money and he gave it, and that's the seifon. That's the beginning of the end of the hashpa. But then there's more than that. The seif meiser that the, the the person who's receiving that's outside of the hands of the mashpia. That's outside of the hands of the rich man. There's the poor person receiving. That receiving, Kabbalah Sashbar, is mushrash higher even than the good feeling that he had. It's in, it reaches the etzim higher. Where do you see it reaches the etzim? Well, imagine you've just dished out from your pocket $2,000 to give it to this poor man. And you give it to him and he spits you in the face. He says, okay, I'll take it. I'll do you a favor, I'll take it. How are you going to feel? If you're such a kind person and you're being mashbir, out of kindness to this poor person. So you feel good about it, right? So you're doing kindness. What's the difference to you what he says back to you? But you see that if he tells you, thank you, you're such a nice person, I'm so happy, you've got big mitzvah, he starts giving you brachas back, that makes the usher feel good. I mean, I saw the shulchan, they go collect him money. They, you have to do this. You have to have the, the, the kabbalah sahashpo has to be done right. That when you receive it, you have to thank the person, and that touches the mashvia more than he had when he had a good feeling before, and it reaches in the etzem, which is higher, and Madriga higher than the beginning of the hashbar. So not safe from the is the beginning end of the hashbar. Safe Maisa, after the hashbar, then the Kabbalah's hashbar, is all, is all of Machshav at even before it began. The same thing in the whole Seydish Tauslus. And the same thing is going to be over here. The beginning and the end of the hashbar is Zohar and Malchus. But when it's Niskabal in Malchus, and the Hadgosh is on the Makabal, not on the Mashbir giving, but the Makabal receiving, that reaches to the Sherish of Malchus, which is higher than the Sherish of Zohar, higher than the Mashbir. That's what he's going to say now. Well, in Yenhu, the Sherish of Malchus, you know, my name is Sherish Zohar. That the Deek is, it's higher even than the Sherish of Zohar. The Sherish of Zohar, whom he chits in his Akesa. Where the Midas come from? They come from the Rotson. They come from the chits in his Akesa. What's the Primus of a Midas? Rotson. The Sherish of Malchus, whom he chits in his Akesa. Although it does say when get to Zo, Zo ba Tika Ochid Vitalia, Zo is Mu'uchid, is one with Atik. We'll explain that in a second. How do you do a Sheena Kavon on Atik? Mamish Rakhit Saini Santi. So there's no Kasha from that Maima that says that uh, in the Maima Hazo it says that the Zo comes from Atik. It doesn't mean Atik, it means it's, it's coming from Chit Saini Santi. In other words, it says in other places in Ranat, which there is Matsayan to Ranat, it says uh, it's Ochid Ba'arich and Talia Ba'atik. So it's the Midas are really only Shaykhs to to Arich, not to Atik. Whereas Malchus is Shaykhs to Atik. So what would that mean, Zobatik Ochid Ba'atik? What is that in simple language? The Midas are Mushush in Keser. So if you take it from a person, a Moshe will be the Midas of a person are Mushush in the Rotsen of the person. Which Rotsen? The Rotsen Shalomayim Mitam Vedas. Kesi is on top of Chacham, right? So the Midas and Mushrish in the Rotsen Shalomayim Miseichu. What would that be? Practically, how do you see that? You see, for example, that sometimes a Midas can be Misgaba to the extent that it goes, it takes over his mind as well. 
ever see somebody go into a flying temper? You ask him afterwards, do you have to shoot him? I mean, I understand he, he bumped into your car, but you have to go up to the car. He said, I lost my temper. He says, you lost your temper. You're about sick, aren't you? Why, why do you go crazy? The vote, the vote is because the Midas have a Sherish higher than Seichel, Rats and Shulamayim and Seichel. So Mitzad the Kaychel, it was Nisayra, the, the mocker of the Midas, the Achid Vitalia. It was Nisayra, the, the Etzim of the Midas. The Etzim of the Midas, Rats and Shulamayim and Seichel. So he went charging forward like a Lamayim and Seichel. After you asked him, did it make sense? It doesn't make sense. If I would have my mind screwed on, I, w- I would have, I would have uh, controlled myself. But I lost my, I lost, what do you mean you lost it? The Midah was Nisayra. That's why it says that in Nisayra's Chachma, the Rebbe Rashad brings it down in, uh, in Ranat. Should we, uh, should we throw? No, no, the first Maimah. Uh, he brings down from Nisayra's Chachma that if a person Tachim gets angry, what should he do? Keep quiet. Because Dibu has that Maila, the Maila of Malchus, that brings out the Shayra Shatvarim. So the Malchus is going to start being Maila of the Midas. More and more and more until you're going to get to the shoulders of the midas. Once you get to the shoulders of the midas, my name is Tamvadas. He's gone crazy already. So just quiet and quiet. The midas stay under control. The mati mi Tamvadas, not the my name is Tamvadas. That's the ochid v'talit. Mashi. So al kafonim the midas are connected with rotsen. Mashi einkin shoulders are malchus. He be primius atik, which is radlo. They should deloy siad, which is. The Moichin, the highest level of Attic. So Malchus has taken a Shredish in Attic, previous Attic, but that's only a Shredish. Since Malchus goes down, the only way Malchus is going to be Nisaira, her Shredish is only through a Mashpia. That's why you need a Mashpia. They wish to set things out. Each one needs the other one. The mashpia needs the makabah, the makabah needs the mashpia. Everyone needs the other one. You can't be one without the other. That's actually why the Fidika of his mind, he brings down right at the beginning of the mind, he says, Zachon akeva bora oisom, vay bora chaisim alakiv. Why do you get the brachas under the chuppah? The etzim inyan that you're going to have a chasna, is shayna bracha. Because since it's two hafachim, a chasna and a kava, zah malchus mashpia makabah, it's calls man the separate. This is no bracha. The etzim inyan getting together. There should be a chos and a kav together. That itself is a is a shayrish brachas. That's why it brings down. You feel it was moving down. The whole dugma to Shabbos is just like Shabbos is mekayla to kol bechorin yelon v'tatoyim. The kulu yayim is welcome by Shabbos. Kamekain is kala is ian mekayla to bichas yelon. This brings the whole the whole brachas. So the inyan of mashpiyim mekabel. You're going to be the, the mashpi is going to have his ilui through being mashpi to the makabel, and the makabel has nothing unless she's makabel from the mashpi. Am I doing overtime? If you want to stop, let's we'll just finish a few more lines. So when za is mashpi into malchus, malchus will reach higher. So we'll reach back to her shayush. V'zeh in yaseida hamshachah. This is like how the seida works. The tchil etzorach is hamshachah hazah b'malchus ba'ayvim shiyogish inyan hazah shalamaylim b'malchus. V'dav shadav kal yodai hu gilu shayush hamalchus. First you see he's the mashpia, she's the makal. He's he's the man the omer over here. The the rav is the man the omer. The the osher is the man the omer. He's the mashpia. Avu mikol mokim mik mikiven shahamshachi mitzadim. So, it's a mile so, is yesh lo shaykhis li shnaushlis. Like we said before, by the year of the Mitigun Edikna, it has a shaykhis to shaykhis. So, so, it's taka de mashpia, but it's shaykhis to shnaushlis. But dafka, le de ham shakh of pnimius, shimis kabelis, bamachis, be pnimiusa, dafka, when he goes down, in knife and pnimi. In other words, he's being mitzamson, so it looks like he's going less. He's teaching the child according to his level. So, it's a pnimius, but you're rechling zich with it with a makabu, be pnimiusa. Because you're, you're, you're looking to see that Malchus should receive, so you're interested in the receiving of the Ashba, not so much your giving. It's also the receiving. It's like there's two different types of teachers. There's some teachers that they have to teach because they have to teach. Like the Bali Magidim. Some people have to say a drosha because they have to say a drosha. Anybody listening? What's the difference? He has to have the pictures taken, he said his drosha. That's it. 
That's my result without look, looking at Malthus. Obviously, there's Malthus over there, there's Macabre, but he's not miscaven to be a But a, 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 a Lambert Lahoyle, a teacher that's going down to the child, do you understand? You get, let me see if I can explain to you in a different way, which you'll understand. So he's going be Pnim Yusa. Why is he going be Pnim Yusa? Because it's negate to him that it should be Niskabu. It's not just he's giving the money. He wants that the Oni should say thank you and be happy. He wants to see that smile on the face of the Oni. And when the Oni smiles, that gives him back his Ilui, his, his, his Tainu. So when it's Niskabu, Saif Mai says, that's all the Machshav Atchila. So when you're interested in the Mechabonus Ashbor, Mitzad Maidus HaMalchus, Harei Magim Aridei Zed Asherish HaMalchus. So you reach to which is even higher than the Shoresh of Zor. The Shoresh of Zor is in Chitzay Nisar Kesar, and the Malchus is Rosh Moshe Shem Pnim Yisar Kesar, in Pnim Yisar Kesar. But Ad Sheh HaMalchus Mashpia Bezor, and to the extent that Malchus becomes a Mashpia back, Eish is Chayim Atel is Bayim. She becomes her, the crown of the husband. In other words, she gives something to him that he doesn't have. So that the Bible Chupa is Niskava this Indian, and that's why she stands on the right. She's a mila of, of thing, and she's Nukeva to save the Gebe. She's going around him, not the other way around. And if you look at the brachas, we have two brachas and Sheva brachas, which sound almost the same. What's the difference? The one beforehand is Mesamei Chosen Vukala, first the Chosen, he's the Mashpia, and then Vukala, she's next. Number one, one, number two. But then you have Mesamei Chosen Im Hakala, means he's, he's tuffled to her, she's the Ika. And that's the last bracha, the bracha achriti, which is mehen mehen yishom. It's going. What's going to be mehen yishom? Lo asilov. Lo asilov will be misgala the mila of the makabel. So it's going to be mesamei chosin im hakala. He's tuffled to the kala. That's also he wrote a ma'ase that the chayera. It looks like a. I understand you're all upset. Chasanim have to leave terukat mimim and go out into the veld and get married. I understand it's a problem, yeah. but. Dafka, the days there that you go down, the Chosh Darga, become Mashpi into the world. This is the whole Hemshech of the Maima. Is Eishes Chayla Teres Baila. You'll see that all those Milas, these wonderful Milas that you had in Al Sabochi in Yeshiva, will be Nisala to a higher, to a much more Shlemus. I'll give you an example of a of a, dava, a, mitz, a mitzvah Gashmi, which you can see. The next day after the Chupa, you have to put on a Makif of a Talas. That's our minig of Al Kapon we do after. The there's certain union which come a certain shame which you'll, you'll feel straight straight away. Straight from just the etzim thing that you got married. There's a certain shlemus. And then there's the obvious, which is going to mention at the end of the Maimah, if we're going to get to the, obviously, um, if it'll be a Hemshah, we'll get to that afterwards, that the union of the first mitzvah, of Puru is, that's her Maimah. She's able to be Mahavi Yeshmiyayim, because Malthus is Mahavi Yeshmiyayim. Obviously, there has to be the Hashbo of Zoe Malthus, but Malchus is the one that's Mahavi Yishmaim. It's at her Shairish. Kayach Eishavis is in Malchus Dafke. Okay, so we'll stop over there. Again, a Hemshah. Why is there a.